How's it going guys? We are back at it yet again. This time we have, well actually we've been joined, hijacked by uh, Mr. Mark Bauer now, Mr. Dead Cold Paranormal. Me and Griff are back out yet again and tonight we've actually come to a location called, you tell him man, I've already for Englefield Hall, that is the location. Inglefield. In Inglefield Hall. Um, Inglefield. This place has got a bit of reputation at the moment. Um, it's reportedly very haunted with some alleged amazing activity that's been happening in this building. We was meant to come here about a year ago, but with all the pandemic and all the COVID and stag do's and everything else and me getting COVID, it's been a nightmare. But after a year of waiting, um, around about a year, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's been, it's been, who, who cares, who knows? But we're here, we're here to investigate, to see if there's any truth to the claims, you know, um, not saying if even if we don't get anything tonight doesn't mean that the place isn't haunted You know, you know the drill how it goes with the Ouija brothers We only document and show you the truth and everything that we experience tonight You will see it so don't expect any theatrics or stunts or anything like that. You'll just get raw uh, And the hard truth I suppose isn't it Jess? Yeah, you might get one stunt me flipping off the stage. Hopefully, I'm hopefully. I've been thinking about it all day I've got to think about it as the night progresses and all that. I'll see if we've got the energy in me to do it Yes, so in this hall, in this very hall, some of the activity that's been allegedly found, caught in here, uh, there was an investigation team, I believe there's only one other team that's really done this place, um, they're called Ghost Tech, uh, Mr. Jeff Young, and he said recently that he seen an apparition of an old lady somewhere along here, um, and he said he had like, she had, you know, like lung hair, the old fashioned, everything, like an old lady. So apparently an apparition has been spotted inside this very hall. Um, and we'll turn it around and we'll keep going forward. It actually is getting a lot darker now. So we'll be able to turn the lights off. Uh, they heard also footsteps um, coming from down this way. So where these stairs are, um, apparently they heard footsteps coming down, like very loud footsteps. So hopefully we will be able to capture something like that tonight. And we'll just take you up here. Um, and show you where this door is. That swung open, which looks pretty impressive. But we're not going to be able to have it closed today because no, we could try and sort something out. Yeah, we could try. Um, because it's just because the metal's broke on the bottom, isn't it? Because they've just they've just recently had it all decorated, and that is going to just stop it. So they've actually tied a rope onto it. But yeah, this door sw uh, swung uh, wide open. So, where should we start? Should we start in this room or? No, you want to start downstairs? We'll go. We'll, we'll, I was we'll, thinking more up there. Up at the top? Yeah. I could like stay down in this section as well. Mm. Just so we're not all cramped together in one room. There's two rooms up there. Was, uh, I could sit at the, at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, that yeah I did hear that. Mm. There is a car going past though, isn't there? Yeah, but there was a bang up here. And he did muffle it a bit. I was just saying, go upstairs and it's not from that way. You know, let's listen, let's listen. I could sit at the, the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, that, yeah, I did hear that. Mm. I could sit at the, the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, that, yeah I did hear that. You can stay down there if you want to. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be at the bottom. Don't be scared of us. We're not here to hurt you in any way. We're just here to talk to you. 
Find out who you are. Tug on a piece of clothing for me. I've got this device in my hand. A little grey box. If you'd like to if you'd like to talk into it, I'd be very grateful. Can you give us a name? Maybe why you are here? Nothing. Nothing. Have you been anything up there, Jerry? That's quite dead. The new Zach Bagans. Oh dear me. So nothing yet. Like I say, we did hear a little. I think Griff and Mark heard like a bang from up above. Um, but we went and we just did a bit of investigating, um, and we didn't really get anything else from there. But now, yet we're going to go down into the main hall where the apparitions have been seen. Um, banging, voices, noises, children, and all that other good stuff. I'm gonna go down there right now. Uh, we've got equipment set up, and hopefully one of those devices can be activated. So, we are in the dark now, spirits. If that's how you prefer to contact with us, We've heard a lot of good things about this location. You've left people terrified. Now, people can walk across there, can't they? Yeah, that's the front of the old That's the front of the building, and there is a footpath. Just where them doors are, it's like a long footpath. I did hear movement coming from there, but it could have been maybe possibly someone walking outside. Do you want us to stop what we're doing? Are you trying to tell us to... You want us out of your building? We're not doing anything wrong. We're just here to communicate with you. Nothing else. We're not here to banish you from your home. We just want to show the world that the paranormal uh, is real, the spirit world, whatever you are. Just showing that these guys are leaving. Is that Colbert? I oh, know, get in. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. And they are just heading to the car. This way, Mark? Yes, cross. No, no, I mean this way, there's a pizza place apparently. Are you actually going to a pizza place? I'm going. You're <laughs> a hungry man. Why right, then? And there we go. So I'm now all alone inside this building. So if you want to come forward, if you want to scare me on my own, I'm going to go in the dark in a minute. I'll start back in the um, in the main hall.
Okay. So it does feel a bit more creepier, obviously, than being on my own. It's a big building. I'm in a hall, obviously. Um, spin around and see if we can capture anything off guard. There we go. I think I've just done. There we go. Just done a 360. Just feel a bit more creepier now. I'm in here on my own. I'm going to go back into the dark. Hopefully, something can come towards me. Something can scare me. Show me some kind of evidence that there is something here. I mean, even though I'm in the dark, people, we've tried it, we've turned off all the lights, but because of the fire escape signs, and there's some lights outside the front, that's the best we can do. So I'm not completely in the dark in this section. So these are the stairs where a spirit come down. Might as well have my light on for this section. Could you follow me up the stairs? Whoa, it's just me just dropping the camera. It's just outside interference. It's just people walking past. We do have a device at the very bottom. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There is a metal rim right there. Could you walk past that device, please, and start making your way up the stairs? Allegedly, you've pushed this door open to room number three. Griff has closed it, people. He has just took off the rope and he has closed it. Could you open the door for me, please? Could you swing that open? Like you did before. We've got a ball at the top of the stairs. Once I'm settled, could you please throw it? Oh yeah, man, it's dark in here. Woo! I mean, the only bit of light we've got is there, the windows, but it is dark. This is the darkest section in the building. Oh man, it's probably the best as well. I mean, listen to the, the same proofing. There's actually, because there's objects, there's costumes. Now, when I was doing some B shots earlier, I did hear a noise come from within this room. Kind of sounded like it come from this section. Uh, it sounded like a, like a bang. Hello? Hmm, okay, so. I'm just filming some bee shots and I did just hear like a bang come from this corner. Hold on, Jace! Like a very loud thud. Which is your favourite costume? There's a lot of clown outfits here. 
Fancy dress. Could you move one of the costumes, please? Could you do something like something like that? Maybe slide it. Could you do that, please, to whichever one is your favourite costume? That's obviously just the plastic settling because I did just disturb it, so just disregard those noises. Could you whistle for me, please? Could you copy me? I've come back into the main hall where we started the investigation. Didn't get anything upstairs. Um, so I'm just gonna chill in this room. I've got the, I've turned the gauss tube back up. I do have a K2 meter. I do have a load of the devices all in front of me. Um, like we've got two mail, room, two mail rooms and the cat balls. I'm just turning this on right now, so. I'll just have all them on my lap. Listen to that. Behind you. Behind you. Are you behind me, old lady? So where you are? You hiding behind me? If so, could you tap me on my shoulder? I do want to add, we spoke to... How do you feel? How do I feel? Bit... Bored? Underwhelmed? Disappointed? I was expecting a lot from this location. So far it's not delivering, so far I feel nothing. Now what I was going to say before the app interrupted me is we've spoken to the man who has worked here for many years, he let us in. We asked him, we said, have you ever experienced anything in this location? He said he's never experienced anything. Am I dead? Am I dead? That's what the app just said. Am I dead? You tell me. Is it you that's dead or is it me? Anyway, he's never experienced anything. Um, the manager of the location, I can't remember his name. He's stated that in all the years that he's worked here, he's What year is it? What year is it? It's 2021. Um, he's never experienced anything in this building either. So that's two uh, members of staff who worked here and they've never experienced anything. So I suppose you're saying, well, why the hell are we here? Well, you know, we've seen a video and they was, you know, they had a lot of activity, so that made us want to come. Now again, I'm not saying the place isn't haunted. At the moment, it just feels very flat, very quiet. 
Maybe we just got a dud night, one of those nights where just nothing happens. I'm gonna make my way up to the um, to the stairs, and I'm just gonna sit and chill. We've got Mark's camera chilling here. We've got um, a mail room with the uh, temperature on there. If you want to check out Dead Cold, that's his channel, um, Paranormal. He's uh, really immersive to watch. And he's kind of interesting with how he uh, brings across his paranormal investigation. <clears throat> now, on here, in this area, this door swung open. I'm still getting voices from outside. So I'm going to head into this room. I'm going to see if there's anything in this room that will push the door open for me. I'm going to do a full spin of the room so you get to know it. And you know what I'm like guys, I'm a sitter and someone that likes to be seated. So I'm going to find myself a chair, there's one, and I'm going to sit there, oh yeah. So if you like the dark, I cannot see you, there is a bit of light coming through the window, a bit of street light, but that is it. If that was you that knocked in that corner, in that direction, could you do it again for me please? Louder. Louder. And that was nice. <clears throat> so basically what's just happened is I'm talking in this room, I'm asking, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much commanding um, that I want something to happen. And um, we've had a loud knock in the room, could be settling. Um, oh. I've set up a a cat ball, in fact, at the top of the um, stairs to the attic, to the loft. Could you throw that cat ball down to me, please? Could you throw... Could you throw that cat ball down to me? Towards me? Let's play a game of catch. Can I hear the brim pod downstairs? I can hear like a beeping noise. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, um, marks. But I think it's the one in the big hall. Hello? Hello? I heard beeping. Was it that K2 meter? Walk 
towards this K2 meter. I keep calling it a K2 meter, it's a REM pod. It's a K2 REM pod everything. Sorry, Mel REM. Walk towards this Mel REM. Walk towards me. That was that, that was the Mel REM in here. Hello? Did he see this going up? Thank you. Make it go all the way to red. Hold it there for me. Thank you. Now I've, I thought that I heard something. Can you communicate with me through this Mel Rem? If you can, can you hold it on orange? Higher, come closer please. Closer. Use my energy. There we go. Now stop. Stop. Well, we got we got proper activity here. Oh my god! I'm going to walk away because it's kicking off, and I don't want you to think that it's me, guys. Knock it over. Throw it at the wall. Whoa. I've never heard it before to this. So there, I think that was a battery dead. Um, as you guys can see, I'm touching it now. It's gone off. Um, I honestly genuinely thought that we had something there uh, because I heard the REM pod and I was asking for the bell REM and REM pod in K2. We also have one in here. If that was a spirit, follow me. Follow me. There's a Mel Rem in this room with me. Walk into here and set this one off in front of me. Now that was a loud bang over on the stage. Now that was a loud bang. Now that was a loud bang. There's a Mel Rem next to me, to my left. Jump off the stage and come and touch the Mel Rem, please. How's he been? Your REM pod fucking did everything in the world. No. Yeah, but I think the battery's dead though. I think that's what it is. Or was he? Well, remember when the battery's about to die, he'll just do the battery. It completely different to yours. Yeah, man. Where's the... Whoa. Put. Oh, hold on a sec, I'm in shock. Hold on, let's get some proper lights on, man. Turn the lights on, what the hell was that? That was loud. Did that come from in here or upstairs? It really, it really was loud. I think that's just the battery dying. But that was a really loud noise. It was in here. We ain't gonna be able to really find it at all, are we? Did you hear it, Mark? I don't know, yeah. Sounded like something being thrown. It did. What's that? Well, there's nothing out of place, is there really? 
It's nothing that you would have took notice of. Well, we was we was talking, having a laugh. Well, I wouldn't say a laugh, just discussing the REM pod. And he was over all of us, weren't he? Yeah, it really was. So, was that you? Because I've been talking to you. Could you come forward now and make that noise for us? Drop something. Fucking hell. That's a demon. But yeah, if you guys um, <clears throat> want to see more of what we're doing, then just press the subscribe, like, and if you can be kind enough to share, that would help us out greatly. Um, and we've I've been joined with uh, Dead Cold tonight. And I, I like Dead Cold, I think he's a, a really good investigator. And if you guys want to check him out, go over to um, Dead Cold's YouTube channel. I'm sure he's got a Facebook and an Instagram. And he's all dead cold. It's a good name. But yeah, I think, um, I think I'm done. I've put a lot of energy, a lot of time into trying to get something to come out. And hopefully I did do something like that here. But um, we won't... We'll never know, I suppose. We'll just keep searching and searching. Well, thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wager Brothers. So, enjoy your night. Peace.